on the island of Simi in Greece. Now this video is gonna be about Simi and you're staying in Rhodes for an extended amount of time, I would say perhaps about a week or perhaps even longer, definitely consider coming to see me. Rhodes is very close, about an hour to an hour and a half by boat, depending on the boat that you take, depending on the time of day. The major ferry companies are Blue Star, Ferries, Dodecanesos, Seaways, Sibico, and Sea Dreams. Now, Blue Star is by far the biggest and fastest at 59 minutes, but it runs less than Sibico, which is a smaller ferry. Now, I gotta tell you guys that on the way here, we took Sibico, and because you know, you can only take certain ferries at certain times. And it was one of the roughest rides that I've ever had. I felt like I was going to throw up. Uh, there was a guy next to me that did throw up. It was really, really rough. I'm not sure if it was just that day or if this is just how regularly it is, but it would be really hard for me to recommend Sibico if you're coming here. So it's very, very close. It's definitely doable uh, as a day trip. But my opinion, to really get the feel of Simi, the small little island, the small little charming island, because it's really charming here, I think you should say at least one night, perhaps multiple nights as well. And that way you can also go and visit the multiple beaches and perhaps you'll have time to go and see the Panormites Monastery as well. When you first arrive in Simi, you're greeted by the beautiful Simi Harbor. It's picturesque with colorful houses, and it just looks like a piece straight out of heaven. The harbor is really the main part of Simi, even though there are other areas to explore. Most people, however, will spend most of their time here when visiting Simi. First up, visit Dino Sponge Shop located on the eastern side of the port. Simi sponges are some of the most popular sponges in the world and are harvested in from the surrounding waters of the Aegean Sea around Simi. They're known for their high quality, durability, and softness. There are all kinds of different sponges that you can get for different purposes, from silky sponges to rough sponges and everything in between. Many are gentle on the skin and can be used to exfoliate or cleanse the face and body. However, you can also buy sponges that are used for household cleaning. When you visit Dino's Sponge Shop or any other sponge shop in Simi, be sure to ask the vendor about the different kinds of sponges. They will be happy to help you and you can also see the different kinds of prices for the different kinds of sponges. Close by the sponge shop is the traditional restaurant Caffineo Liris, one of our favorite places to eat in Simi. They serve up small plates or mezes of fresh local seafood and other traditional Greek dishes. This place is frequented by locals. It's a little off the beaten path, but definitely a not to be missed restaurant. One thing not to miss when coming to Simi is getting the specialty here, which is the Simi shrimp. Here are these little teeny shrimps and you eat them whole. They kind of remind me of the dried shrimp that you find in Thailand, but these ones are not dried. They're actually cooked and fresh. Mmm, those are really good. And surprisingly, they're very soft, but not too soft. There's like a little crunch to them. They're kind of like shrimp chips in a way. We also got these amazing cheese balls. And they're really, really good. I had one. You want to try your cheese ball? Oh, and she's eating. Oh my gosh. And she's feasting on kind of this smoked, oily fish. Can you give it a thumbs up? <laughs> All right, good job. Hey 
heading back to the Simi port, we recommend to just walk around and take in the gorgeous sights here. There are plenty of shops to browse selling clothing and local products. The Verna O Miraculous is a great place to eat off the port area. It serves up homemade food and had one of the cheapest but also most delicious sea brooms that we had in all of Greece. Akumi is a great shop to buy traditional local products. Be sure to try their Akumi jams as well as their cheese pies. The Verna Harris is also a nice place to stop for lunch or supper. We really enjoyed their selection of fresh fish here on two different nights. Now if you feel for meat, be sure to check out Meet the Meat Taverna, which is located right next door to Taverna Harris. In our opinion, they make the best euros in Simi, so be sure to check them out if you feel for a euros or any kinds of brochettes or meats. So you'll see around the island many different uh, beaches that you can get to, uh, some of them by car and some of them only by boat. Now we did go on a boat ride around the island of Simi and we have some footage for that that we're going to show you guys right now. A new place, a new home, for a while let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Alright, so right now we're at St. George and this is a beach, it's almost like a private beach even though it's not and I don't think you can get here any other way than by boat because you can see that there's the mountains right behind the beach. Just a little strand, a little slice of beach here. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky. I found my way, I found my way. I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day, cause I found my way. Right now we're in Nanu Bay, so we're making our way around Simi. Slowly, we're going from one bay to the other, to the other. We're gonna make our way around it. Just look how peaceful this is, guys. Cause I found my way. No trip to Simi is complete without visiting the monastery of Panermitis. It is one of the most emblematic monastery in all of Greece and dedicated to the Archangel Michael. Today it's a major pilgrimage site and attracts crowds of people from all over the world. It houses a large silver plated icon of the Archangel Michael reported to be miraculous. According to tradition, the icon appeared miraculously and on several occasions was removed only to reappear in the same location. The church was then built over that location. The monastery can be reached by car, but it's preferable to take a ferry early in the morning from the main port of Simi.
world. Please do come to see me guys uh, if you have a chance or at least go to Rhodes. It's beautiful around these parts and everyone should be able to experience it uh, in my opinion. All right guys, so this is gonna do it for the video. Please give the video a big thumbs up. If you did, please hit that subscribe button down below for more content right here on the GoTo family from Simi Greece as well as from around the world. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.